Oh, we're actually in the import business and uh, we're importing vegetables and, and uh, other produce from overseas. And uh, part of the reason why we uh, created Eden Purely Fresh Farm is to ensure our supplies uh, is not disrupted. As the world warms and climate change threatens the world's food supplies, Singapore is looking to boost its food security by encouraging local farmers to invest in technology and boost productivity. Uh, when Eden Purely Fresh Farm started in 2014, uh, what, stopped, what stopped us from going high-tech is because of the, the expiration of the lease. Uh, there was not much time to go into technology yet. So for our, so for our next farm, uh, if we are successful in the bidding, uh, we'll definitely go high-tech. Some technologies that we'll go is, that we'll, we'll uh, work with is like vertical farming, uh, greenhouses, uh, maybe some automation and we try to be as efficient in our energy usage as possible. So by using the MTS and vertical farming uh, and greenhouse systems, uh, we are able to better control and manage the, the effects of, <coughs> of uh, weather affecting farming. Yeah. And in terms of automation, how will that uh, benefit the farm? <coughs> Uh, in terms of automation, we are able to uh, reduce our manpower uh, usage and we are able to also increase our productivity at the same time. Meanwhile, off Singapore's southern coast, fish farm Baramandi Asia is also grappling with challenges posed by climate change. Well, as you know, climate change is going to eventually uh, lead to elevated water temperatures in the oceans and uh, ocean acidification and this is going to uh, decrease the uh, water quality and cause additional stress on our fish opening up to, uh, to a wide range of diseases. Well technology can help in two ways. One way it can allow us, it gives us uh, modern instruments that allow us to monitor the water quality and which allows us to uh, mitigate uh, uh, and put in preventative measures for uh, poor water quality. It also um, uh, there's a vaccine technology which allows us to, uh, to improve the uh, uh, immune response and immune system of the fish while uh, avoiding the use of antibiotics. Um, uh, technology can also help us uh, with respect to productivity and efficiency. Um, we have uh, feed blowers here on the farm and net cleaners which allow us to uh, uh, reduce the uh, manpower needs that we have here in Singapore as we uh, expand the farm and increase our production levels. As the Sunday Times recently experienced during a day out at the farms, technology can help improve the lives of farmers. The laborious net cleaning process, for instance, is made much easier with the use of a robotic net cleaner that can be lowered in and out of the water. But is technology really a silver bullet for all the different types of farms, especially those with niche markets? To find out, the Sunday Times visits Jurong Frog Farm, located in Lim Chu Kang. Uh, the, the challenges of frog farming will be pretty similar to that of a vegetable farm. So we rely uh, you know, terribly a lot on the natural resources, uh, like uh, rain for water. So that, that, I think, will be our main challenge. Uh, no doubt that certain technology will be able to help us uh, to improve some of our processes. Uh, we also worry about the cost of employing such technology, uh, which will in turn also really hike up the cost of the, the M produce. Um, and it, it is a, will be quite a challenge for us to, to, to do that, given that Singapore is quite a price sensitive uh, market and also in this uh, niche market. Other industries, other ag agricultural industries like uh, the fish farming uh, and vegetable farming, they may have very developed uh, technologies already. But for frog farming, it's still it's still a very niche uh, industry, uh, which means that you know for us to employ technology, it has to be very customized. Uh, that that in turn, of course, uh, um, you know will drive up the, the cost of uh, developing such technology. Uh, currently, we are exploring, looking at uh, tapping on the natural resources of uh, other countries, uh, you know, where resources like uh, you know, water and land uh, can be more abundant compared to the spaces, constrained spaces in Singapore. Uh, so we are we are doing we are we are making a few source, uh, sourcing trips, you know, to look at options like that. Uh, at the same time, you know, we are working with research uh, collaborators uh, to see how we can further explore um, to max out the potential of the users of the different parts of frogs.